Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You got Coach B. Glad to have you guys here at 15 Good Minutes. Here with my guy, Freddie. How we doing, buddy? Pretty good. And yourself? Doing well. Doing well, man. JR is on the injured reserve this week. You know, going back for those regularly scheduled, uh, I, I don't know what you call them. They're not visits, but we has to have all these, I call them checkpoints or milestones from having the, um, the kidney transplant. So uh, spirits are up. He's uh, he's complaining about the food, which which is a good sign, you know, and uh, he's going to be in the rest of this week. So uh, he should be back. Uh, he should be back next week. So uh, will, do what man. you got to do, man. Don't be a problem in there. You know, follow them instructions, you know, and, and do what they tell you. <laughs> they, they will keep your ass in look, there. Look at it like this, like, like you know, how you used to do those kids when you was coaching. Do like I tell you, and, and we'll be fine. You know, well, that's all you got to do. Follow them instructions. See the end game. Know that you can get out. We'll hold it down for you until you do. Uh, hopefully that'll be that'll be real soon. Um, just wanted to check in a little bit this week, Freddie, and see, you know, like what, what's happening. A couple of key things, you know, in the summer. I mean, we're 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 coming up on August. Feels like it's it's moving pretty quick. Um, how do you feel about uh, any type of going into the summer goals you may have had? Are you are you hitting them? Did you reach them? Are you behind? Are you ahead? Did you even have anything significant you wanted to accomplish this summer? No, I, honestly. I mean, living in Texas and it's so hot, you know, it, it, you know, my birthday was actually this past summer, uh, this past Saturday, uh, Sunday, I'm sorry. Um, and I sent you the picture that I met, you know, with Harrison. Yeah, yeah. Harrison Barnes, um, you know. UNC number 40. Yeah. You know, me and my wife, we did a staycation because my wife and I, we actually have the same birthday. How cool is and, that? Um, You'll never forget it. Not that, not that anybody would. It, it means a little <laughs> bit less to me now because... <laughs> He's taking, she's my, still your he's taking my freedom your day. Now she's took my birthday, you know. But right. um, but you know, honestly, if I've always looked at as, as someone that that loves football, period. It's like I, I I for the summer for me, I just look at my birthday is it's it's great because training camp starts, NFL, college, and you start getting that buzz and that feeling. Fantasy football is starting up. Staying plugged in, staying plugged in. I don't think I had a, a lot. I'm going to, by the time this comes out, I'll be done. I've been making a video all week. I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to send it to you. This is the video uh -huh. where I'm, uh, I'm doing my own personal um, uh, test of, of different cognacs. I got them all lined up on the bar, trying all, all of them. And tonight's the one where, where I picked the winner. Uh, so I mentioned you in the video because in the video, I talk about there's only a handful of people that I consider, you know, true cognac guys. And so I, I mentioned you in there and I'm going to send you this. I'm not going to tell you right now uh, who the winner is. And then when you, when you watch it, uh, you have to come back next week and tell me, you know, uh, if, if you agree with me, it's been a fun test though. I can tell you. What well, well, the only thing about it is for me, I would need to know the list of those Cognac. So I, you will. Actually, so I can actually go out and buy them and then I can do my own taste and see if. And I hope that you do. I, that's kind of where, where I'm hoping people go, because I, I that's exactly what I had to do. And the one thing that I did differently, I watched other people and how they did it. And I didn't like their method. And what I saw most people doing, man, was let's say they were looking at five. They would have all five bottles there and glass in front of each one. And they was tasting them one behind the other behind the other. And I'm like, nah, man, I'll be lit by the third one and it won't do justice to the fifth one. So what I was doing was, I don't know if, you've, if you're familiar with it, but I have it in the video. There's these, uh, these tulip glasses, not a brandy sniffer, but it's called tulip glasses. It's actually designed for single malts and has a longer snout, if you will, so that you can get the aroma with it. Mm -hmm. So I put a shot in there, you know, for the test. And, I'm, I, and I drink that on camera. Um, and then I pour a glass of it on the rocks like I like to have. And I go outside and have it with a cigar while I'm watching the movie. Same one, one rocks for each one? Yes. And one, just one cognac per night. You know what I mean? So when I was doing one, whatever I had in the little sniffer glass, I would do that straight. And then you'd see me put on the rocks and I say, see you tomorrow. And I'm gone. And so for me, it's just, it's easier for me to grade him. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I just didn't see the, the value, especially with the cost of some of these of drinking one behind the other, behind the other, behind the other. So I did each one on a, on a different day. Um, that, that, that's a fair, a reasonable way to approach it. It's just like, you know, you go to, you know, a, a fragrance store and you're smelling 
colognes or perfume. You know, they give you the, you know, the coffee beans to kind of, you know, kill it. But kill it, know, it, it really doesn't help. After know? a while, you come out of there feeling like, man, I'm seeing a lot of this stuff. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so I'm going to keep you posted on that. The other thing I wanted to mention, you kind of touched on it a little bit, is um, you told us early on when we started the show the significance of the birthday as it led into to football. Um, but I'm going to ask you a couple of questions that more more centered around fantasy football. Um, so, so those of you who don't know, you know, Freddie's a big time fantasy guy. He's actually uh, the commissioner for one of the leagues that I'm in. Um, I'm not as into it as Freddie, but y'all, y'all have figured that out over the course of the, of, of the show, especially when we get into the season. Um, but what I like about what he does in his league, I just like the way he runs it, the way he stays on top of it. Uh, he's always helpful. Um, I've been in other leagues, one that he's still in, but I got biggie where I had to quit because <laughs> it's it just, just too much damn pressure. And everybody's telling me you need to trade this. And, you, and I'm like, but it's my team. And so I never got that with Freddie. And sometimes I look at stuff and I forget things like about the keeper rules and stuff like that. And I can hit Freddie up and he just gives me an answer and I'm good to go. So I've gone from five at one point um, last year. It was four. I'm down to two now. Freddie's and, and, and a buddy of mine named Charles who does one. It's just a ton of fun. So um, I want you to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, how many fantasy teams you're on. Uh, and what your take is on fantasy football and why you like it so much. You actually introduced me to fantasy football. Remember a long time that, ago. That first year we went, I forget, we went to somewhere in was it Frederick County, Maryland, and we had out there. Yeah. That was yeah. that was a wow. That was my first introduction to fantasy football ever. I had heard about it, never played it, but that was kind of like my introduction to it. And, and, and from there. You know, the love just grew from it. And, you know, now the, doing a league like that, you know, it takes a lot of dedication and, and planning. That was fun, though. Everybody it doing really the draft was. in person and, you know, and that, you know, it just made it a little more realistic. Exactly. You know, it, it was great, you know. Um, but I, I, um, I'm i in my league, my cousin's league, and, and Biggie's league. So I'm in three leagues. That's not um, bad. In, in Biggie leagues, I – I, was, I think this is my tenth or eleventh year. I actually won the championship. Yeah, you know, big money this past year. You know, <laughs> I won the championship in this in, in Biggie's league this past year. Um, in my league, I was a champion last year, and this past season, um, best record, best team ever assembled. I told him though, y'all, he was his record was smoking coming out <laughs> the gate. I'm like, yo, yo, it's it's too soon. I mean, he wasn't just winning every week; he was just trouncing cats. You know, I was like, get down to the wire. It's going to get tight. And I was one and done, you know, and <laughs> I, you know, I had a bad week. And then in the third league that I'm in is one of the more interesting leagues because this is a league to where it actually plays two quarterbacks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've two seen those. You know, so. Um, you get points for both. Right. You, you can play two quarterbacks at the same time. And so. That type of league, it, it puts more of an emphasis and a value on the quarterbacks as opposed to running back wide right receivers. So then you get better value prices for them. So um, that league, we're actually debate. I'm not a fan of that format, but considering I'm a competitor and I, I like fantasy, I was just like, you know, I'll adapt and overcome. And I ended up actually coming in second place in that league last year. So Going into the playoffs last year in my league, I was the number one seed. I was the favorite in Biggie's league. I think I was I was number two, and I ended up winning it all. Winning two it or three, yeah. And then in my cousin's league, I think I was maybe like the fourth or the fifth seed, and I ended up uh, going. You know, ended up coming in second. One of the things we're doing in the other league that I actually like. Um, is when he does the draft, he does it on a, on a Zoom now, which is the closest thing to like when you and me were going out and, and going. And, you know, when we used to do it back in the day, we were going, I think we were going to Les's house and his wife made all this food and we had the boards up and all that. Um, nobody really does that anymore because most of these leagues have people in all kinds of different states. Have you considered doing a, uh, you know, one where everybody's on video for your draft? I, I will put it out there this year. You're going to be on it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, it's fun because you get, it's almost like Hollywood squares. Mm-hmm. You get to see people and it, it really helped when you knew, for example, like for these don't, those, of you don't know the different types of um, drafts. 
Freddie stopped doing a snake draft <laughs> a long time ago, smartly. And, and so the, the type that we do, you know, you have a certain amount of money and you decide how you're going to bid. So you go through a certain number of rounds where you know you're not touching that mouse. Now you ain't clicking because you're waiting on somebody. So with the Zoom did, it was very helpful because you got all these side conversations going and you could see people's faces and stuff. And it was it was pretty cool. So I told uh, I told Charles I was going to mention that to you and see if you put the word out if guys would do that. I, I think that would be cool. Yeah, I, I'm definitely game for it. Uh, we actually do that in Big League. We have. Uh, oh, do you? OK. Yeah, we, yeah, we've been doing it for like the last two years. You know, you asked Glover about it. I told a crazy story when I was in the Marine Corps, you know, and he he, he still kids me to the day. He was like, that was a wild story. <laughs> Mind you, you know, we drafted and everything, and I had probably had too many Hennessy's. Oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a good, <laughs> what, man, two, two and a half hours? Easy, right? The question of the week for our audience members, um, are you on a fantasy football team? Do you do fantasy football? And if so, how many teams? Um, you know, let us know on, on Twitter at 15 good minutes or right here on youtube.com slash 15 good minutes. Uh, do you play fantasy football? And if you do on how many teams, cause it's coming up on us pretty quick. And what we'll do is once, once Freddie gets, uh, gets the league going and we're actually active in it, uh, what we do on the show is we'll, we'll give you guys some updates on how, how, how it's going and whatnot and, and see how we're doing. We'll also kind of let you guys know what's going to happen with the draft, if uh, if if Freddie gets his word out and we all vote and we do it, we do it on a Zoom. That'll be fun. As oh no, well. we don't have to put it to a vote. We're gonna do a Zoom, and if those oh. that participate, they participate. They do, yeah, and that that's true too. Some yeah. people won't, but I think most will. And and I, I certainly I certainly look forward to that. So, um, so there you have it. You know, quick hitter today. Um, like I say, Jr. is on the injured reserve. He'll be back next week. Freddie, anything for for our folks before we break out today, man? Training camp is upon us, you know, another month from now, we will probably be seeing our first college football kickoff game or, or whatever. I'm just so excited. I'm so happy for it. It's just, you know, it's just my birthday is out of the way. Guess what? I got 300 and some more days before the next one comes around or whatever. I don't even worry about it. You know, it's just football is here, you know, so. Uh, and if you guys can't tell, this is uh, this is this time of the year. And, and, and uh, once we get you know, really past Labor Day, um, we'll be getting some amazing stuff content-wise from him because he's so plugged in at at both the collegiate level and pro level. So we look forward to that. All right, folks, that's all we got this week. Everybody be good. Try to stay cool. And we will see you guys next week. All right. Take care, JR. <laughs>